Hello everyone. In this particular lecture, we are going to learn about kinematics of rigid body. In kinematics of rigid body, we are going to basically deal with location of an ICR in any given mechanism, which is, which we are going to deal it as a rigid body mechanism. Now, what does ICR stand for? ICR stands for instantaneous center of rotation. What does instantaneous center of rotation actually mean? Instantaneous center of rotation means the center of a rotation of any given object that is given for one particular instant. So in a mechanism it could be possible that for various different instances we may be having different point of rotations. Let us consider for an example if we have a particular bar which is hinged at a given point this bar will be able to rotate about this particular point. Now this bar will be able to rotate only about this particular point and nowhere else. So this point becomes the center of rotation of this entire object. Same way if we consider any particular sliding object. Let us consider a sliding object. A block maybe. If we say that the block is moving to and fro in horizontal direction we can assume this also as a rotational object which will be having its center of rotation to infinity so I hope you people understand by this what is exactly the center of rotation now these are the two very classic examples of motion this particular motion is rotational motion And this is completely translation. Translation motion. So in rotational motion, the object will completely just rotate about one given point. Whereas in translation motion, the motion of the object will be maybe around a particular given plane or a given line. In our case right now for this particular object, the motion is in the horizontal direction. It could be in the forward or in the backward direction. But just try and imagine if at all we have a mixture of both of them. So what should we be getting in that case if an object is having rotational motion and at the same time it is also having a translation motion. So in this case what should we be having as our motion called as. So let us try and understand this with the help of an example. For this example I will be using a slider crank mechanism. This slider crank mechanism consists of three basic points, three basic, uh, we can say the mechanism links into it. The three links that are called as the first one is the crank. Second one stays up as our connecting rod. And the third object is nothing but the slider itself. So let me just draw a view for all of the, the complete mechanism over here. This we may call it as the crank. The crank is hinged at one given joint which is at this given point let us call it as A. Now from here we will be drawing another link This will be my connecting rod which will be pin joint with the slider over here or the sorry the crank over here and finally we have our slider which is again pin joint with the help of the connecting rod. So this becomes my joint B this becomes the joint C and the slider is fixed in such a way that it can move in the horizontal distance to and fro but it won't be able to move upwards or downwards. So upwards and downwards is not allowed but if you go for horizontal direction it can move in the forward and the backward direction. Now how is this possible? Just try and imagine that right now for this particular given diagram that we have drawn my crank is going to rotate in this given direction. So as soon as the crank starts rotating, my point A will remain over here itself. 
because this is the point from where the entire crank is rotating but my point B the point B has to rotate because this is a rigid link so as soon as it starts rotating it will take upon its next position the moment it takes the next position let us say somewhere over here the point B has moved in one horizontal dimension now this whatever is the distance that it has covered same amount of distance it will be pushing the entire link from this point to the next point C so because the link is again rigid what will happen from this point if the B is lo located over here at the next given instant my C also has to be moving forward so over here the C keeps on moving in the horizontal direction because it is completely restricted in the vertical motion through these surfaces whereas B is just completely rotating now if you observe the link AB AB as I told you was the crank let me just specify it here AB is crank connecting rod is BC and my slider is the C so if you look at AB AB is just a crank which will be completely rotating about point A and C is just a slider which will be simply be moving in the horizontal direction forward or the backward direction but if you observe connecting rod the connecting rod has two of its points which are in different motion when you look at B B is just rotating whereas C is just sliding so B is in a combination of rotation as well as translational motion so rotational plus translational motion over here gives a new type of motion which we call it as general plane motion this is called as general plane motion and we generally denote it by GPM